I'm a hairdresser by trade, so that's what I do uh, in my daytime job. Uh, jiu Jitsu is my uh, hobby job, shall we say. And one of my clients uh, I became friends with, and uh, I was going through a really tough time at the time. Uh, and I was. Uh, he kept nagging me and nagging me to come to this jiu-jitsu class with him and I kept going no it's not for me I'm not bothered he was like come on come on come on and uh, I started seeing like a psychiatrist and uh, they'd put me on meds and about four or five weeks before I first stepped on the mat I tried taking my own life and uh, I realized that I needed to do something and uh, so I thought, oh, stuff it. I just, I felt lost. I, I, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I didn't know where I was in my life. And uh, I just thought, stuff it, let's try. Let's, let's go and have a go. And I genuinely thought I'd tip up. It'd be one class. I'd be like, thanks, mate, but it's not for me. 20 years in December I've been at it <laughs> and I'm still friends with, with the same kid right, so, and he's also the kid who gave me both my ears right, so, <laughs> let's just get that on camera <laughs> when, when, did you, when did you call it because yours is quite prominent yeah so they came quite early on actually very early on yeah uh, we in the first two years I think it was uh, one was a side control his knee hit my ear and when he removed his knee my ear blew up <laughs> the second one, uh, if any of you guys know what like it was back in the day, the head guards that they've got now are brilliant like compared to what they used to have. They were just like leather like this that we could get in the UK. And you went, oh come here, let's test it. Whack! I went, cheers mate, you've done my other one. <laughs> and he went, no I haven't. I went, took it off and poof, lo and behold it blew up. So yeah, so that's that's where the ears come from. Right? So I got my blue belt from hoist all four stripes on my blue and my purple belt from hoist as well right, so uh, all in Sheffield right, so uh, then I went and trained with uh, Eddie Cohn uh, who's a black belt under Hoyler Gracie so same lineage and I was with uh, Eddie for 10 years and then I left Eddie's in 2019 so I've been on my own for about three years now but we are from January this year we've been affiliated with Combat Base UK under Darren and Helen Curry so which is great like, it's really good it's a good partnership they've got the same ethos of, as me like uh, regards in how we train belts you know that sort of thing so yeah it's, it's all good so yeah I, with my guys especially, I, I encourage them to go and train at other gyms uh, because that's what I did and I believe that that's how you get better and, and you, know, you know that sort of thing. Unfortunately, I haven't got the time now to go and train at other gyms because I don't drive and I teach all the time. <laughs> so, uh, but when I do get a chance, I love to go and train at other gyms and, and train with other people. Uh, so, yeah. Why is that so important to like balance between different gyms? Because you, you, you can become stagnant in your own gym, right? Uh, you, you might be tapping everybody left, right, and centre, and then you'll go to another gym and you'll get your arse handed to you, <laughs> and you'll be like, "Oh, actually, I'm not as good as I thought I was." No. It is important that you do something like that. It is important that you go to other gyms and train with other people. It's, it, it's like competing, I guess. But like I've competed like white belt in uh, jiu-jitsu, purple, brown and black in jiu-jitsu. Right? So uh, I'm not the best competitor in the world, right? but I'll get on there and I'm game. And like, I'll, I'll try and give the crowd a good a good watch. Right? You know, I like to make the, the fights interesting if I can. Right? So, but, uh, I don't know why it's important to me, to be honest. Uh, I just like, I like to feel that people are entertained. For me, like, Jiu Jitsu is all about finishing the game, like, finishing the match. Right? So, like, if I win on points, I'm not happy about winning on points. I prefer to finish. Like, that's, that's, that's my ethos, and I've always had that ethos finish the fight. Like, and, yeah, since white belt. Yeah, I've always had finished the fight as an ethos, like, but I've not always got that, unfortunately. Right, so because 
you know when you compete not everything goes the way you want it to go right so yeah so but yeah I mean ideally it's like if you watch two good jiu-jitsu guys at it it's like watching ballet like it's, it's, it's entertaining it's interesting you have to mention earlier I actually wanted to ask you did, did you always have that premise in mind that it was like go for the kill but go for the kill and make it look awesome at the same time because that's literally what it looks like yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I, I I think that's just that's just me. Like, okay. you know how um, they say that like your you jiu-jitsu, it, your personality comes out in jiu-jitsu. Like, it's, it's a, yeah, of yourself, yeah. And um, I used to like when I was younger, I used to ice skate, I used to rollerblade. So I've always been into like you know that sort of like extreme type of thing. Like, and uh, I used to do my hair. God knows how many colours when I had hair. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm a rocker by heart, but I listen to absolutely everything, you know. And I, I think me as a, a person, I am quite a colourful person. I am quite. I try to. I, I do lots of things, if that makes sense. Like, and I think my jujitsu is like that. It's very. It's not very like. Do, do, it's very it's very all over the place yeah. which is like me I'm very all over the place I, I'm spinning a thousand plates all at once like so and I think that's what comes out on the mats like uh, yeah so I've never never aimed to be like that it, that is just me right. like, so I'm, I'm just mad I think <laughs> so, what would you say is uh, the to creating such a such a long-lasting team and friendship as well. Because that, 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 like what you just said there, 17 years, that is... Oh, yeah. It's a, it's a long time, yeah, yeah. So, uh, for me, one of, the, one of the main things when I set my place up was I never really felt like I fitted in anywhere. Okay. Right. And I wanted to make this place like home for everybody who didn't fit in if that makes sense right so uh, I wanted it to be a haven for all the waves and straights the ones who didn't fit in at any other gym right. and uh, and I guess because we're all mad and crazy we've all just gelled and got on and you know carried on right. and I've seen people come and go and I've seen people come back right. I've seen people go for years and then come back Right, and uh, and I often get messages, especially from students, like because we're quite we get a lot of students in this gym, like, uh, and they'll leave after three years, and then they'll go back home and train at the uh, gym, go find a gym and train, and then I'll get a message saying, "Train's great, but it's not like your place." And that, like, that for me is like that's like a, a golden nugget as such. Like, I, I put a little bit of me in. in into somebody else's jiu-jitsu like if that makes sense like so uh, and I just want to share and I'm not bothered about being the best I'm not bothered about winning million medals or all that I just want to have fun come this is my therapy as well as anything else like I haven't touched antidepressants in 19 years right uh, so I still have dark days, like, like everybody does, but you know, Jiu Jitsu pulls me out of that. Uh, so, so that's, I mean, my wife puts up with a lot. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, I, I, at the, currently I'm teaching nine classes a week uh, on top of uh, doing a full time job and looking after my little boy. <laughs> so, Man, that's really it's it's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. uh, just just to pick back off the back of that, that last point that you made there, if if it's possible, could you actually sum up like what jujitsu means to you? Ooh, that's an interesting one. Uh, jujitsu to me, uh, it's a lifeline. Uh, over everything else, it's a lifeline. Yeah. As much as it's it's a lifestyle now, because I've been in it that long, it's not just something that I do. It's not just a hobby. It is it's a lifeline to to help me like through my life, like on and off the mats. Like, so 
Uh, and like everything, you know, you get your blips, you get, you have your ups and downs. You, not everything's perfect. Life isn't perfect. Like, uh, unfortunately, or fortunately, it's what makes us, isn't it? Like, I think. Uh, so, and just like that, jujitsu is exactly the same. It's not perfect. Like, like, and uh, it never ends up like you want it to do sometimes. <laughs> you might start the role with a great idea in your head and you might finish the role with not even achieving that so, and gain something completely different. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and life's like that, isn't it? So, but yeah, for me, it's a lifeline. Uh, so, yeah.